So as I was saying in the Discord, I'm going to try to do a little bit of recording here for you. So what's cool is it takes the Stalker Anomaly mod on ModDB, and uh, it gives you like something like 414 something mods over plus, and um, it makes it more like almost like Escape from Tarkov. If you've never played any of the Stalker games, it really won't make a whole lot of sense, but so you get a little brief history here, you know, for the different factions you select. Um, you know, brief history up here. These are the, um, this is Freedom. And typically I just play as the Free Stalkers. Um, so you can change your portrait. Uh, there's not a whole lot here. Um, I usually spawn at Cordon, which is Rookie Village. Um, and each Stalker typically has a different name. B A N. Can't spell bananas without spelling it out. B A N A N A S. Okay, cool. Um, so, Hand of Bananas. Um, you can have an inventory selection up here, and you have a certain amount of points, uh, 1,700 points to select whatever you want from this list here. And um, I'll be doing what I call a gob node playthrough, where I give myself the best gear and um, just fuck around. So, we're just going to go ahead and do start. And, I'll, you know, with this being a, a mod pack, it's not entirely stable, and it's on the X-Ray engine. Um, so I think loading times are tied to frame rates, and top right hand I have 9 FPS. Um, now it's dropping down to 6, and yeah, I think loading times are tied to the frames. Um, but we'll, it, I'm running this on an SSD uh, 980 NVMe and M.2, so I hope it loads quickly. But it's Stalker, so I'll probably just cut this out. So we're now here in Corden. We have a nice. Uh, where's my PDA? Oh, I gotta put it in the slot. Press your enter button, you get this nice PDA. And you can see the entire zone. It's pretty expansive. This is the Chernobyl and uh, CNPP up here. Um, down here, you get your messages. This is Sidorovich, she's one of the traders here in Corden. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and press the F7 key to open up a debug menu. We'll go to item spawner and you have pretty much everything here. Um, you want weapons, you got weapons. Um, PP-19 Bazan, the uh, Chris Vector, MP7, P90, you name it, they got it. Um, you name the rifles, they got light machine guns up here, SIG 5.16 or 5.50s. Um, all the different different kinds of AK variants, plus, you know, the SIG AK, not uh, the SIG, the uh, AK-5C. Swedes AK-5C, Stayer AUG, G G3s, G36s, Galils, Type 20 Hawa. They got everything in here. Um, they've even got the Groza. The OC-144A, 14, 14, uh, the Groza. Uh, the Ash 12, 12 and a half, 12.7 by 55 millimeter, um, a full metal jacket, uh, a 50 caliber rifle. Um, they got, a, they all got, I got really all kinds of cool stuff here. Rifle dynamic rifles, you want snipers, they got snipers. Um, they got the, uh, the VSSK Viclop, Viclop, um, uh, integrally suppressed f f 50 BMG or 50 caliber. SKS's, SVTs, you know, I even got, I don't know why I would do this to a uh, K98K, but whatever. SR25, WA2000, you know, RPG, M79, whatever the RG6 is, I assume that's Russian. And, uh, miscellaneous mods, they got a lot of mods. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and get everything going here. So there's different types of food. You have uh, stewed, which reduces the radiation content. Um, so if it's stewed, you can see here, um, you still have radiation poisoning, uh, 176 millisieverts. Um, and then you have purified, which means you have no radiation. And then you have regular zone-produced food, like for instance, this is flesh bacon. You have radiation poisoning of 650 millisieverts or microsieverts. I don't really know what which one that is. Um, you definitely don't want to eat that. Um, cooking it does reduce to uh, does reduce it a little bit, not a whole lot. So 
typically I just go with, you know, bloodsucker uh, goulash. A small hot meal made from bloodsucker meat spiced with various herbs and mushrooms. I just, you know, go with four of each. I do bloodsucker and chimera. Uh, a portion of grilled chimera meat served with mushrooms and various spices. An expensive meal eaten mostly by veteran stalkers to celebrate the accomplishment of difficult missions. And then, you know, you have, you know, MREs. You got bread. A loaf of bread surprisingly fresh, uh, suggesting that it was recently baked somewhere within the zone. And you know, you have Dr. Sky, uh, don't spawn dummy, no sound. Um, you have Dr. Sausage, uh, Dr. Sky, Kobasa, five of each. Uh, smoked salmon, five of each. I think I have six. Uh, I always go with the uh, Beard's Tea here. Beard's popular hot tea made from a mixture of sugar, edible dried mushrooms, and boiled waters that is said to be radiation free. Stalkers who can afford to buy the drink often take it for long trips in the zone. It's a good and healthy way to stay on your toes when you're getting tired or when you're out exploring on cold nights. Buy from that, you have coffee, energy drinks. Uh, there's something going on up there. Not my problem. And then you have a pretty, uh, expansive medical system here. Um, I should probably go see what that is, actually. Since they have seem to be having a hard time killing it. Get it, guys? Sounds like dogs. Um, actually, I'll probably keep this rifle. Ooh, nope. Over the hill there. I'm not gonna engage that. Uh, anyway, so as we saw with the rifles... Oh, I spawned an Ace-52, I don't want that. So I'm probably gonna keep this, I'll just upgrade it. Actually, I'll take this, the 550 arrow. Eat, eat. Uh, so if you press tab, you go into your inventory system here, and um, you can see that we have the SIG 550 here. We have our backpack, uh, which is used as a stash, um, and this is everything. I have 15 water, oh my god. <laughs> I'll just sell them. Um, and I also have 15 tea. Okay. Um... That's fine. So we'll just go back into our item spawner here, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, set ourselves up. Give ourselves the best gear. So we have this Vodog detector. We're gonna go ahead and use the PDA version 3.1 with kill track, and we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, N uh, GP GPNVGs, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do reactor. We're gonna go to tool. We are gonna find out. We're gonna give ourselves ten of these military battery units because this will power our exoskeleton. Uh, and then we come to repair. We have to actually keep clean our weapons clean, and we have to repair them. So we're gonna go ahead and do the universal weapon cleaning kit. Give us five of that. We're gonna go ahead and use some of this Brunox gun care lube, and we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves all this hops number nine. Oops, sounds like someone walked into an anomaly. Uh, we don't need anything in here, nothing in here. We're gonna go to helmets. We're gonna give ourselves the CZ M10 Spartan. Go to outfits heavy. Uh, the UNISG Nosarog. And that should be pretty much... Oh, we need to go back to the medical system. So they have a pretty expansive medical system here to include bleeding, uh, poisoning, radiation protection, radio iodine, all that fun stuff. I just usually give myself five of everything from here. Uh, we have epinephrine. It's five. We have ibuprofen. Uh, diclofenac sodium, which I don't really know what this is for. Average damage to resistance bonus causes slight dizziness and it gives post heals. Uh, so that's oh, it looks like it's uh, used to help uh, blunt injure, uh, blunt uh, pain. I've never used any of that. Uh, Chlorotetracycline, five of that. It's an antibiotic. And then we have sulfa dimethoxone, gram positive, gram negative antibiotic. Uh, 
at Perazine. Uh, it's, it's, so this is a uh, psi blocker. Um, so there's this. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the articles. I will, I'll, I'll read it out. Anti-radiation medication actually removes the radiation. Uh, then you have systemine, radio iodine, or potassium iodide, or bandages. You have uh, caffeine tabs. Uh, of course, you also have lovely cocaine. Uh, antibiotics are good to have in blowouts. Then you have an antidote for poisoning. Uh, Hercules, which I've never used. Uh, Venka, which is uh, artificial vitamin K. Cyblock, another drug like uh, the adparazine here. Uh, Radio protectant. It should be sleeping pills. S March bandage tourniquets. Then we have the good old AI2 med kit, so we're gonna give ourselves three or four of these. And then we have, you know, medical packages, army medical packages, and side packages. And then, you know, two of each. Four of the five of these, because they're army med kits, good for bleeding control. And then we have signs here for you know treating uh, health, radiation, bleeding, and exterior radiation and psychic resistance. Uh, and then we have morphine. And then we have met met metamizol. And then we just I'll just use two of these. There's stim packs. And you have a military stim pack for healing. And you have a military uh, scientific stim pack for the same thing. Uh, fentanyl and then yadolin. 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 I don't know. Um, never used it. And so now we're gonna go ahead and start our, start our weapons up. Um, so I already have the SIG 556 here, the arrow, or 550. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use that Ash 12. I've used it once before, and it was just awesome. It's pretty rare to find, so. I also actually used something here recently. Um, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? The Type 20 How was pretty. Uh, not a Type 20 Howa. Oh, where are you? Looking for it. Oh well, I this is what I used, the XM4, that was pretty fun. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Ash 12 out. And I'm gonna go to miss I'm gonna go to explosives so that way I can look at what the uh, what the weapons need before I uh, do anything. Oop. Put everything on here. Tear the patch off before I get shot up by the stalkers. So put that on. And as you see, bottom left-hand corner, system control, warm battery low. That's where we put this on. That will generate battery power. And then we drop a couple of these boys in. And we have... 200, so we need to drop two more in. And there we go, we are fully charged. Here we go. Drop the Ash 12 there. I need to put a new back, get a new backpack here. Um, I have a spawner, uh, outfit attachments. I usually just either do the Taurus backpack or the military backpack, doesn't really matter. I'll just do the Taurus backpack. Why did I pick that up? And there we go, we are fully kitted out. So we're gonna go ahead and um, go back to the item spawner. And we're gonna go ahead, actually I lied, we're gonna go ahead and press tab, right click, and oop, I wanna, didn't wanna do that. Yeah, the reloads are really slick. Um, go ahead and press F7 again, and oh, I lied, wrong. Right click, uh, details, and we can see it uses these scopes here. Um, it looks like we can use an Elkan DR, and it uses a uh, NATO suppressor. So I'm thinking we're actually going to go ahead and use the Aimpoint Comp M4, and we're going to do the suppressor. F7, I have a spawn. Uh, miscellaneous, and we are looking for the Comp M4. Where are you? There you are. And then we need a NATO suppressor. We just drag it over. And there we are. 
Everything sights up really nice, nice and smooth. I'm actually getting 107 FPS right now, which is really cool. All right, so then we're gonna right click, details, and we wanna use the SUP special upgrade pack, and that's gonna give us a Spectre DR and a Trichicon RMR. And it does have a uh, suppressor as well, the CKIB Ash 12. Go back to here. We want the SUP. I believe that's it. Not entirely, entirely sure. Um, and then we need the CKIB. Here it is, right there. We can drop that SR25 suppressor. Nope, that is not it. So. Put that on, place that, drop that, drop that, put you in there, and we need to go back to F7, we need to find special upgrade kits, SUP, I don't know where I can find that, what's that, uh, SR1 MP, 9x21 gears, uh, I think that's it right there, honestly, Ooh. Oh, there it is. So we're gonna drop that. Throw that on there. Press two. Cheeky bricky, palchik wiki. And now we have an RMR and a uh, Elcan Spectre, which gives us four times zoom. And if we press V, we can go to the uh, RMR on top, which is a cool little feature. You can actually use, you know, you're up close and you're far away. Hi. Yes. Um, so, as you can see, we're wearing an exoskeleton and we can't sprint like we were before. So, we have to press F7, and we go to Bucket Workshop. And here we have uh, upgrades, repair, uh, repair, upgrades, and crafting. So, we're going to go ahead and do some modifications. And here's your upgrade menu here. Um, you have recoil, fire rate, uh, recoil, um, Reliability, you have everything here. Control, uh, shooting flatness, accuracy, everything. So, let's we'll select everything from here. And depending on how you want to go, you could do, you know, all control. Um, I typically just try to keep it, you know, pretty even. That's, you know, fair, just good for me. Then we get a little red, or not red, a uh, green arrow up here, which shows upgraded. And then same thing here, just all the way down the list. And I'm happy with that. And then same deal. Um, and I usually play, I usually take a closer look at you know what happens here. Um, so you see you have psi and radiation. So we're gonna look here with psi plus 16, radiation is plus 13, so we're going to go with the radiation, and then this gives us the sprinting here. I'm not so much concerned about this stuff here, so I just go through it and select it. Uh, then we look here, uh, electric resistance versus uh, burn. Electrical has plus 10, and then burn is plus 16, so we're going to go with electrical. Uh, radiation versus chemical. Current radiation is 13, so we're going to go with the chem. And then this doesn't really matter here, I just select it. Suit is upgraded, now we come to the helmet. Now we're going to look at radiation versus chem. Radiation versus chem. Uh, 54 and 18, so we're going to go with the chem. And I think it's psi and burn here, so we're going to go with the psi, I believe, which is 26, 28, so we're going to go with psi. So we are now fully upgraded. And fun fact, you have to reload all your weapons after you upgrade. And you also got to reapply your suppressors. Oop, that was a bandage. Alright, let's go find a bad guy to shoot. So we are fully loaded and uh, ready to go fight something. All right, so it didn't give me the uh, didn't give me the uh, thing there. I gotta put my suppressor on this. 
Actually, I'll just throw a couple of shots out here real quick. Take the suppressor off. Off. Let's take the suppressors off real quick. Everything sounds pretty good. Obviously, as you'd expect with, you know, a uh, 12 and a half by 55 recoil is uh, pretty stout. This is really meant for close range engagements. Not really meant for anything, you know, probable. Ooh, hello. That was a bad guy. Come here. Yeah, it's... It's, it's pretty substantial. These are dogs, by the way. Um, that's pretty much about it, besides uh, actually getting into the gameplay and the, and the guts. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the little uh, god mode setup that I usually do. And if you press enter anywhere on the numpad, um, it'll bring up your HUD. I just usually have it uh, up, so that way I can see my mini-map. Just in the bottom left there, but um, yeah, that's about it, guys.